If you want to learn three different methods to evenly space views on your UI using Swift UI, then keep watching. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to evenly space views on your UI. Now, let's start with the first method. Now, say we have this example right here where we have our view and we want three evenly spaced tiles on there. Now, I'm talking vertically stacked. So, what can we do in this case? Well, what I'm going to do is since I know I want them to be evenly spaced, I'm going to use shapes. And the reason why I'm using shapes is because shapes are push out controls. So let's add some shapes. Shapes will use all available space. So if there's more than one push out control, what they're going to do is they're going to compete for space, but they're going to evenly distribute it amongst them. So if we put three shapes on here, they're going to evenly distribute that space amongst themselves. So as you can see with these three rounded rectangles, they're each going to use 33% of the screen. Now, once you have your shapes on there, you can overlay your content that you want in there. So for example, I could say overlay and then add a detail view in there like that. Okay, now that's hard to see because we're using the secondary color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the secondary color to the shapes as well. There we go. Now you can see it better. So that's what you do. You'd add overlays to these shapes and the shapes will take care of all the distribution of space. Okay, so that's method number one. So we know shapes push out, they're push out views, but that also means that there's views that are pull in. Like text here, for example, that's a pull in view where it doesn't take up as much space as it can. Instead, it only uses as much space as it needs for its contents. So what I did is I put a border around that text right there, that pink border, so you can see exactly where the frame is. And the frame doesn't extend out it just uses up as much space as it needs. So if we wanted to make that text push out, there's a way to do this. And if we make it push out, we can have it use an even amount of space as that rectangle, the rounded rectangle right below it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna add a frame. Now I'm not going to give it a height and width. Instead, I'm gonna give it a max height and a max width. Actually, all I really need is a max height. And for the value, I'm going to give it infinity. And that makes it a push out control. So now what you can see here is that the text view, which is normally a pull in view, is using as much space as that rounded rectangle below it. So they're both using 50% of the screen. Okay. Now for the second method, let's use an example here. Now you see those three buttons down at the bottom? Those might represent different ways to log in, like Facebook, Twitter and GitHub. Probably not Google Plus anymore since that doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, so we'll say GitHub. Now your client might say, hey, I want those evenly spaced across the bottom. Well, one way you can handle that is by using the spacer. So we add a spacer here, and I'm just going to copy that. And we'll add a spacer here, here, and one more, like that. So now all three of those buttons are evenly spaced going right across the bottom. So that is method number two, using spacers. You can use spacers around other views to evenly space them. And notice, you know, I didn't have to give it any values. I didn't have to give it any amounts. That means that it's dynamic. And if I go to a larger view, like an iPad, for example, and we look at those buttons, you'll notice those buttons are still evenly spaced across the bottom. So that's one of the advantages of using the spacer. But there's another way, and this is method number three. So method number three is using the frame again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use frame, and I'm going to use max width this time, and I'm gonna give it infinity. So what essentially is happening here is it's turning that button into a push out view, but it's only pushing out horizontally. And what I'll do is I'll add that modifier there to the rest of the buttons. There, now we've achieved the exact same effect as using spacers. And if you look down here, let's just double check our iPad. Yeah, all the buttons are still evenly spaced. So that's good. All right, great. So you just learned three different methods for evenly spacing views on your screens. One is to use shapes and shapes are push out views. So they compete uh, for space, but they compete and distribute the space evenly amongst themselves. 
And then you just use an overlay and you can put something inside those shapes. The second thing you learned is to use spacers. And spacers will give you equal amounts of space when you use them in between views. And then the third way you learned is to use the frame, specifically using max width or max height, and then supplying it with infinity. Because what that does, it essentially takes a pull-in view and it makes it a push-out view. It's kind of like taking that button, for example, and it's turning it into a shape. So it extends out and competes for space, but it does it evenly amongst the other views that also are push-out views. All right, so there you go. I hope this helps you with creating views in Swift UI.